what's going on guys it's been a little bit but we're back at it again i don't know if you can see these ripples right here but it's a school of humpies unfortunately we can't keep any at the moment but we're not out here for them we're out here for cohos today so we're gonna throw a little drift pattern with some dick knights together and see what we can do hopefully we get some all right, so for those of you that don't know or care to know, a little bit different than bass fishing. Um, I have a, I believe it's an eight foot uh, graphite rod here. And I'm just using my normal bass reel, but the way you rig up a drift is you get a, either a three-way swivel or a weight that is similar to this. Um, and it doesn't matter the pound test before, but you want eight pound or lighter for your leader. And I got about six feet and uh, silvers usually tend to like the uh, kind of chartreuse colored bait. So we're just going to float this on the bottom. Um, yeah, you just kind of tend your line and let it drift. And when it comes to about, oh, I don't know, 11 o'clock, if you're facing downstream, it's generally when the fish tend to hit it. I think that's what happens is the uh, dick knight kind of swings out, the, or the leader kind of swings out. And Not sure why that triggers them, but that tends to be when they hit. So let's see if we can put something together. You can see them all kind of chilling right here. They kind of turn into, you know, zombie looking fish when they get towards, uh, this far up, I, don't, I doubt you can see this, but there's about seven of them sitting right here, just treading water. Um, they probably already spawned, and now they're changing color. They're getting all getting all crappy looking, and they're just gonna kind of float around until they eventually beach up and die. But the silvers will run quite a bit farther upstream or uh, upriver, and they are way more aggressive. Uh, than the pinks. It was raining pretty hard when I uh, left my house this morning. Luckily, it's not raining right now. It might be just a, just like a little sprinkle, but it's really not that bad. Came out here yesterday and rain held up. It was nice. My buddy got a couple. I didn't end up actually getting any of them in. Oh, I just hooked one right here. Didn't even know he was on. See, these fish are so tired that it's... Uh, it's kind of funny when they, when some of them do decide to hit. Oops, he's got a little bit of juice in him now. Now they realize he's hooked. Another thing is you don't want to reel when these fish are shaking or running or anything like that. You just want to let them do their thing. It's like I said, they're mount. Oh, just like that. See how she popped off my. Uh, my drag's just a smidge too tight, but their mouths are so soft right now. You really gotta play them well. It's a good sign though. Got one in the first few casts. Hopefully we can beach a couple so you guys can check them out. The ones that don't look like zombies are actually very pretty fish. Got another one. They are just hitting this like it's nothing right now. Try to get this one on the bank before she pops off. So you still want to keep pressure with these fish. You just don't want to pull too hard against the direction that they want to go. This one's still got some energy. We're going to try to play her up over here. Oh, I actually foul hooked this one. It's another thing that you'll do quite often with these fish. There's so many of them. Just sitting at the bottom. 
<clears throat> your line will just run right over the top of a few of them and you'll just kind of hook them but that's a pink right there he's uh, definitely on our last leg that's why all this discoloration on the bottom just turning kind of green and really soft but she's already spawned she's just gonna float around for a little bit more but yeah there we go not out here for five minutes and we already got one it's pretty awesome but again not the fish we're going for today we're going for the, the nice silvers nice coho salmon and man it's so cool being out here and just seeing them they kind of chase each other i don't know why but it might just be at that point where they've inhaled too much fresh water and just kind of going a little bit insane but it's pretty cool watching them chase each other and swim around i mean you can stand out here and they will literally bump into your feet i got something here is this a super dead one this guy's not putting up any fight at all or is that a little trout what do we got? I hooked a rock. Are you kidding me? <laughs> How many people do you know that can catch rocks? I bet not many. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I don't know what they do. They kind of freak out. Stir up a bunch of rocks. I should probably tell you where I am. I'm in uh, <coughs> Sylvana on the Stiliguamish River. Um, I normally don't come all the way up here because it's a lot farther from my house than the Skycomish. Um, but the Skycomish actually closed at the end of September, which is a real bummer. It's my favorite river to fish. And I always have a lot of luck there. I got a, a little secret spot that I won't tell anyone about. But the Skycomish isn't bad. It's just a lot slower moving water. Um, it's a lot harder to find areas where you can drift dick nights like I am um, But this whole run around the corner is actually pretty good It's all about timing Just keep throwing your same drift if you feel comfortable with the spot and you got to kind of gauge You know down here. It's a little bit faster water so What I figure and I know there's actually kind of a pool that runs on the other side of the bank there. So What I'm under the impression of is these these silvers are going to get up past the fast part around the bend come up here to this pool and chill out for a minute and then make their next run right up the shallow section and then it the river slows down right out here in front of us so they might take a second to to feed on anything real quick before they continue moving i think i just got one foul hooked right there you can see he didn't really hit oh yeah he just popped off yeah, he didn't really hit it. You just kind of see my rod doing this. So probably hooked on his tail and he's just sitting there treading water. So it's just causing that slow bounce. Another foul hook, but this one looks like, I think it's a male, so it'll be pretty cool for, if I can get it up for you guys to see the, uh, see the hump on it. The males get some pretty nasty humps. That's why they're called humpies, but. So he, uh, he's pulling drag. He's really not as big as you would think, but <clears throat> being that he's foul hooked and his skin is super soft, you really wanna play him out as much as you can. Otherwise that hook will pop right out. Man, this is fun. Even if you foul hook him like this, Especially uh, the beginning of October like this when in Washington when it cools down there's really not much fishing you can do so if you can get out here and catch some salmon it's, it's a lot of fun this is where that eight foot rod is really gonna come in handy it's pulling just a little much man they feel just like a, a 10 pound salmon when when they're foul hooked like this, they just pull the world with them. I think I got them right in the hump too. Mm. 
<clears throat> Come on, little guy. I'll hold him from pulling too much more out. I do got him hooked right in the top of the hump. I don't think he's going to pop off there. Oh, I hooked him right in the side of the face. Huh, sorry guy. <laughs> but this is a male, and as you can see, that's why they're called humpies. Look at that nasty hump, that thing is huge. They do not have that at all when they're out in the ocean. They're bright silver, and they look just like a regular fish. <laughs> now I have that crazy hump. But, nonetheless, it is fun to catch these things, even though they're nasty zombie fish. It has gnarly teeth, too. He's definitely seen better days. <laughs> but, there he goes. All right. Not the ideal uh, outcome, but not bad either. All right, guys, had a little bit of a, a little bit of a dead spot there for a little bit. Um, I actually came down river just like maybe 30 feet and started fishing the, the deeper water where the fish can run upstream a little bit easier. And, uh, this guy just hit it pretty hard and he's putting up a pretty good fight out there. I don't think it's a silver, um, silvers tend to come right up to the top of the water as soon as they have any kind of feeling that they're hooked. I definitely want to play this safe though. This guy smacked it really well. It looks like a pretty decent one, whatever it is. Definitely taking drag. It's just kind of treading water though. Whatever this is, if it's not fell hooked, it's definitely a, a fairly large humpy, or it's a decent coho. Like I said, I don't think it is a silver, just because it's not acting like one. There we go. Yeah, turn baby. There we go. Yeah, it's a humpy. It's a nice one though. Definitely better than the ones we've caught so far. There's no question about that when she ate it. See, so I think what's going on is I was fishing this area where they were hanging out. So when they're hanging out like that, they don't tend to be feeding at all. Um, oh, wow. This thing is actually running. But when they're moving forward, like I said, once they catch a break, and by break, I mean just a little bit slower water from when they're coming up river, that's when they start to feed. They'll, they'll find the little pockets and pools of uh, bait fish and other, other little creatures they eat. And that's when they'll tend to hit. So I actually threw it way back next to that bank and let it drift down a little more. Man, this is a nice fish. It's giving me a run. Tighten it up just a bit here. I can see the hook in the mouth, so as long as we're not too rough, she shouldn't pop out. Said though, which I think that is a pink. It looked a little bit too greenish instead of a black top. Man, she is not wanting to come this way at all. She wants to stay deep. 
that's good that means this fish is still one of the still one of the ones that has a lot of life left uh. man beautiful fish come on try walking her back just a bit uh. Got a lot of fight still. Oh shit, I almost fell over. <laughs> there we go. Just giving up a little bit. There we go. Yep, right up here. Oh my god, is that a silver? Oh my goodness, is that a silver? Please be. Oh, it's just a. Yes, it is! Oh! <gasps> It's a big one too. Yes! This is the fish we're after, baby. Look at that fish. Look at this beautiful coho. Oh my goodness. That's gotta be four, maybe five pounds. Holy crap, look at the beautiful fish. Oh, oh man, I'm so stoked. Alright, you guys know me. I normally don't like killing my my fish i usually let them go but this is what we're after and we're allowed to keep one per day and oh my god what a fish to keep oh my heart is racing right now just a ton of fighting them oh let's uh let's get a good look look at that holy cow what a fish all right guys i was uh, way off on the weight look at this beautiful silver Oh, look at that poundage right there, baby. Seven pounds, 15 ounces, just shy of an eight pounder. Holy crap, look at that. What a beautiful fish. That thing is going to be good eating and smoking. All right, I need to get her cleaned up and then we'll uh, keep fishing here for a little bit. Wow. <laughs> uh, I haven't caught in a silver in quite a while. That was a thrill. That whole time, I try to not get myself too excited about that because it's such a letdown when it's not a silver but man i should have known right off the bat i mean almost eight pounds that thing is big that was fantastic i'm just at a loss for words right now it's exactly why i'm out here uh barely took any time at all it's not even nine yet just the best <laughs> just the best we're just gonna keep fishing to see if we can't catch another and have another uh nice nice battle like that again so let's uh let's get after it boy oh boy i am uh still flying pretty high right now so i will uh i'm probably not actually gonna stay out much longer i didn't bring any ice with me just just that bag so i already cleaned the fish just to try to keep it as fresh as possible uh, i need to get that thing on ice before we cook it uh, so i'm probably gonna head out here within the next 30 minutes or so and call it a day but wouldn't you know it came out here yesterday didn't get anything beached and now i've uh <laughs> beached a couple pinks and a coho just a great day fishing so let's see if we can't hook into one more and then we'll uh call it a day Well guys, I'm calling it. Um, I uh, I just am still at a loss for words. That was that was awesome, <laughs> super awesome. Anyways, thank you for watching so much. Um, this is absolutely what I love to do, and uh, it's awesome to be able to share my experience with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.